Okay, back in 2003, I lost a very close relative to suicide, which was a major shock to me. Didn't know he had bipolar disorder. I didn't know of any of the struggles he was having. And then I find out he took his life and he had this illness. And uh, not surprisingly, I was very depressed and I expected to be for a long time. I understood what uh, went through the mind of my close relative who had died. Uh, it's, it's like a tunnel around your head that blocks out all the positives. No matter how much you try to convince yourself that uh, the negative you can get by, you can work through, and the positive is what you need to focus on, it, your mind just doesn't let you do that in, in that state. It's like on one level I knew this couldn't be right, but, but on the deeper level, I, that voice, that horrible voice that said, you're a burden to everyone, you don't deserve to live anymore. The night I, I attempted to take my life, I went back home and I, I think I emailed my parents because I was too emotional to call and said, I, I, I want you to take me to Carrier Clinic tomorrow. So the next day they did that. I underwent such a major transformation and I saw others transform right before my eyes. They really helped me through that darkest phase. One of the things that the therapist said was, you need something outside of work, because I was working all the time, no social life, which brought me down. Well, I learned about Attitudes in Reverse, which does mental health education, suicide prevention. And I give presentations when my schedule allows. And that has helped me in all those ways the therapist knew it would. It just does me a world of good to, to know that I'm helping, even if it's one small way.